right now, yeah, Ryan Bates is slotted at the center position. It could very well be Coleman Shelton, who started for the Rams last year. They both played a lot of football, and they're going to be able to make those checks and IDs for Caleb, take some of that work off of his plate. In fact, Tevin Jenkins this summer went and worked out with him, mm. told me that the entire line is taking responsibility for the success of the offense, for helping Caleb Williams along, for making sure that they are doing everything that they need to do to help him out, which is making, like, if they recognize a blitz coming, they're going to call it out. If they're they're the ones IDing the mic point, the mic linebacker, they're the ones IDing the down lineman. They're the ones trying to do that for Caleb Williams so that he can register it that much quicker and know what to do from there. So they're trying to figure out what he needs from them. He's figuring out what, the, what they need from him. Uh, so far, so good from everything I've heard. It's a pretty symbiotic relationship. Division contention. This is probably the toughest division in football this year, the oh, NFC wow. North is. So. You think the NFC North is the toughest division in football this year? I think it's right up there with the AFC North. I don't. I think it's right between those two divisions because think about the Packers, the Lions, and then you have all of this talent on the Bears. And if that works... And then you have all this talent on the Vikings too. I just, I don't know. I think the Vikings could end up fourth in the division with like an eight and nine record. You're saying a lot of good. Easily. You're saying a lot of good things about the Vikings in Chicago. There, a lot of high expectations from Carmen Vitelli, and it's all, of course, to take the Lions out, the division leader.